Welcome to Central Park in New York City. And even here in this huge city of millions of people, we can still find a place to focus on geology. This is the north end of Central Park near 110th Street. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey here with some friends and my wife in New York City. And I wanted to come to Central Park. It's one of the classic stops or highlights of the park and I also wanted to do a little bit of geology here so did a little bit of research on the rocks here but first time here and so I thought we'd explore this area together maybe make a few stops in Central Park at some of the outcrops and see if we can piece together what they represent so let's just go ahead and start with these outcrops here um, kind of low-rise outcrops there's some more back here in the trees along the the bike path here but this one right here is Nice and exposed in the sunlight, which is great. Uh, if we come in here a little bit closer, we can see, and let's find maybe a little bit better exposure, like this here. Um, it's pretty sparkly in the sunlight. Hopefully you can see that. There's a lot of reflective material here. A lot of these very shiny, sparkly crystals in here are, looks like they're bits of mica, muscovite mica, and maybe biotite mica. Um, so this rock is crystalline. It is made out of crystals and looks to me like it's a metamorphic rock. We can see some layering in here, some strong foliation in the rock. A little better zone right over here showing some of that. And so that would make this being as a foliated rock, a uh, metamorphic rock with the mica crystals we see here, that would make this a schist. So this is a metamorphic schist um, and this is a specific schist known in this area and reading up a little bit on it this is called the Manhattan schist and so this piece here is about 460 million years old so that makes it Ordovician in age in terms of the geologic time period and it formed at a time you know when you have a metamorphic rock there's always two stories right there's the story of the rock being heated and put under pressure uh, to change to metamorphic rock but then there's whatever the rock was prior to becoming metamorphic and so this rock here um, is a metamorphic rock that formed again in the Ordovician period but at a time when there was a, an orogeny the first of many mountain building events along the east coast of the U.S. This is called the Taconic Orogeny. And the Taconic Orogeny formed when a, a small island arc, a volcanic island arc, was slammed into the what's now the east coast of North America, accreted. And so the sediments that were there were um, heated up to as much as, um, I think about 600, no, 1200, excuse me, degrees Celsius. And then also, heated up or, or no 600 sorry I have my notes here 600 degrees Celsius at a depth of about 20 kilometers so that's where these rocks would have formed these would have been originally sedimentary rocks that were then metamorphosed or changed into the schists we see here there's also some quartz vein material here so you can see uh, this sparkly quartz vein zone this uh, probably might be part of a, a pegmatite dike that is intruded into the rocks here as well. Let's see what else we can see here. I think this is the main rock type that forms in Central Park, this Manhattan schist. But we'll stop at some other outcrops here as well. I think there's some other outcrops that might show some interesting characteristics. You can actually see a little bit of the folding here. You can see this fold in this quartz rich vein in the rocks and then the other important story here and we can kind of climb up on the rocks here to get a good view of this is how these have been sculpted you might be able to pick out and it shows up very well in the sunlight here the impressive um, sculpting of the rock by ice so this rock has been uh, glaciated glaciers have ridden over the top of this and you can pick out roughly perpendicular to the foliation, um, the direction that the ice would have traveled. And this is pretty much due north here. So this would be ice coming down from the Arctic region 
and then moving across this part of New York as it moved to the south as part of this big ice sheet. Let's see what else we can find up here. Um, more just great exposures of this metamorphic rock with some of the, uh, the quartz rich veins. Oftentimes you find in these pegmatite dikes as well, places where perhaps the rock was fractured and then there's a nice big feldspar crystal here fractured and then um, either magma moving through the fractures to form igneous material that cools and crystallizes or sometimes you can get uh, mineral rich fluids that move through the rock and then precipitate out quartz or sometimes other material here's actually a really nice piece of the schist here, you can see how sparkly that is with the mica crystals there. So, pretty awesome. I always wanted to come to Central Park for this very reason, uh, was to see, look at the geology. So we'll head on our bike here a little further into the park and check out a few more outcrops here at Central Park. All right, a little further into my little bike journey here through Central Park, another great outcrop shows up here again you can see the very shiny nature of the manhattan schist this metamorphic rock from about 460 million years ago of course this rock's been um, not just metamorphosed but subsequently after the taconic orogeny there were two other large orogenic events that impacted this area the um, acadian orogeny which was when the sub the continent of Baltica, which was a smaller continent made up of basically Northeastern Europe, uh, what's now Northeastern Europe, collided with nor this part of North America. And then later the Allegheny and Orogeny when Africa collided with North America. And so those subsequent events probably played a role in uplifting the rocks and then the glaciers obviously eroding and exposing it. Here's a nice little close up of uh, that Manhattan schist. You can see just how sparkly those mica crystals are in there. Um, and then the other cool thing we have here is something a little bit different, something that kind of caught my eye as I was biking past, and that is this big sort of cubic shaped boulder just sitting on top of this glacially scoured outcrop of Manhattan schist. And so knowing glaciers play a role in this area's geologic history from about 12,000 years ago when these glaciers receded. Um, it stands to reason that this is probably an erratic, so this is probably a boulder that was transported with the ice as the ice sheet moved down out of the north into this part of New York. And then as that ice melted and retreated, those boulders were just dropped and deposited onto the landscape. You know, one way to tell for sure if it's an erratic though, and not just part of the underlying rock is to see if there's a difference. So here we can see, you know, again, just how shiny the mica is in the Manhattan schist. And then as we look at this boulder, which is kind of grungy, but it looks like there's a good exposure of it here. You can see it's a very different texture. It's more of a granitic type texture here, more fine grain. The crystals are smaller. The micas are not as large or prevalent. And so this would be an intrusive igneous rock texture here uh, with this erratic. So that tells us that this truly is a foreign rock body that was transported with the ice and then deposited here on top of the Manhattan schist and this, this beautifully sculpted uh, by glaciers, this outcrop that's been smooth as the ice and the grit that the ice carries moves over it, it scours and scratches it. So we'll continue on our little journey here through Central Park. It's a beautiful day. Um, and let's see what other kind of geologic treasures await us here. All right, so, so I thought we would wrap up our tour of Central Park geology with this outcrop. Again, it's the Manhattan Schist 460 million years ago from the Ordovician period. Um, but this particular outcrop, which again has been smoothed and sculpted, polished by the passage of ice over this particular outcrop and throughout Central Park, this particular one has some really interesting folds in 
the schist. So I thought we'd spend a few minutes just exploring this outcrop a bit, looking at it in a few places, looking at the folds. Just look down here. I thought I saw something more interesting down with this little one here. No, nope, just a lot of a lot of shiny mica in there. So let's let's take a look at this one. Some of it might depend on the angle, but you might be able to spot some of the folding in here. Um, and I'm not sure exactly if the folding was took place during the metamorphism and the uh, taconic orogeny itself. Some nice folding right here in some of the layers. Um, or if it was a subsequent uh, compression of these rocks that folded them during either the Acadian or the Alleghenian orogeny. Um, but pretty fantastic. I mean, you know, here you are in one of the biggest cities in the world and just spectacular geology here in one of the more popular parks and attractions in New York City Central Park. So it's so we just spend a few minutes here scanning and enjoying some of these beautiful folds. This one has sort of this W or sort of a chevron shape there. Some swirling folds here in this little section. Let's see what else we can find. There's also some places in here where we get the, the more pegmatite. These lighter zones here are places where uh, quartz and feldspar and maybe a little bit of mica has been precipitated out of solution along some of these fractures. A really nice set of folds here. A little, maybe a little hard to see with the the shadows from the trees but I hope you guys can make out some of these fantastic folds yeah that one some of these are really popping in the Sun here's one here with the little inclusion of quartz a uh, little pod I guess of quartz more of this great folding here in the outcrop And then the whole thing's just sculpted and polished and foliated, or sculpted and um, polished. Sorry, I'm a little sleep deprived. It's been been a long vacation. So anyway, just some of the folding here in these outcrops. Uh, I think that'll do. I think that. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It's been fun today to ride a bike through Central Park. Um, just enjoy the sights. Just kind of this crazy little pocket of nature. Uh, surrounded by all these big tall buildings in this urban concrete jungle landscape so it's been nice for me to like connect with the rocks again a little bit and get a little space outside of my my fellow man so to speak so hope you enjoyed this little uh, venture here into Central Park and looking at the geology of Central Park here in New York City thanks again for joining me appreciate your support of the channel as I try to promote geology education also on a learning process myself and just trying to share that with others as best I can. So take care and we'll see you next time.